Since the development of the first integrated circuits, information has traveled along metal wires as a flow of electrons. We've been able to get faster and faster devices, but now we're bumping up against some physical limits of the material. What are the limits of metal wires? In a computer chip, electrons flow along metal wires in one direction. The wires can only be so small and so close together before the electrons begin to interfere with each other. Also, electric current can only flow in one direction. The longer the distance the electrons are moving, the more resistance they encounter. This slows them down, so devices have to be close to each other. So, is light better for carrying information? Light photons travel across each other, carrying information to and from places that are great distances apart without a loss of speed. But research on photonic devices is still in its infancy. Scientists struggle to produce light waves and switch them so that they can carry information. Photonic devices would need three important parts. They need a light source that creates a beam of light. They need a way to capture the light the same way that metal wires capture electrons. The final piece to the puzzle is a way to change the direction of light. What have scientists done to accomplish this? In the 1980s, two scientists independently came up with an idea for a photonic device using lasers. Lasers are very pure forms of light. Along with the laser light comes ordinary light. This light spreads out in all directions. It causes a loss of energy. Scientists needed to develop a laser that eliminated this ordinary light. The solution is a laser diode. It's a semiconductor that converts electric current into light. It can be switched quickly on and off and reduces the amount of scattered or ordinary light. I've heard of a semiconductor, but what is it? They can conduct current when a voltage is applied to them. The microprocessor, or brain, of our computers is made of integrated circuits composed of semiconductors. Scientists decided that they could produce a semiconductor that used laser diodes to create photonic devices.